We are joined now by Bernard Dwyer of the American Academy of Pediatrics. Welcome, thanks for joining us. Thank you, delighted to be here. Well, you focus a lot on developmental and the behavioral aspects of pediatrics. Why did you choose to go into that field? Well, as a pediatrician, uh, I recognize that for parents, uh, their children's development and behavior is probably the most common issue that they deal with. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's an issue that's m more complex than you usually imagine it to be. So I wanted to really be an expert about that. I think also from the child's point of view, their development and behavior shape the rest of their lives, uh, especially early childhood. By the time they enter school, what, how well behaved they are, how they can concentrate, how they can communicate, uh, how ready they are to learn, really actually makes a lifelong difference for them. So it seemed to me this is a critical and important issue for both families and children. So what are some of the biggest challenges that you're seeing right now? Because I know as a parent, that, that's the hottest topic, is dealing yes, with your child's right, behavior. Yeah. Bones so I think the challenges are in two different areas. One. Uh, uh, our children with autism, mm -hmm. learning problems, or what we call ADHD, mm -hmm. attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, where those kids really need help. Uh, and some of them may not end up being normal adults. They may have lifelong problems. So those are the kids who have really their own problems that we know a lot about helping them, but we can't always cure the problem. I think the other area that I deal with a lot are basically normal children whose, uh, whose uh, childhoods are marred by poverty, by uh, family stress, mm -hmm. by uh, bad environments, mm -hmm. and that impacts their early child and brain development and their academic performance in school, and their I think we can do a lot because they basically have great potential. We just have to maximize their potential. But how can the Academy help in that area? So the Academy has, uh, th this past year, uh, 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 just released a new policy statement on poverty and child health in the U.S. And there are basically uh, two different components to it. One is uh, helping pediatricians deal with the needs of families in poverty. Mm -hmm. I'll talk about that first. We're asking pediatricians to screen for families' basic needs, housing, heating, food, childcare, uh, and then connect them to resources in the community that they are caring for those families in uh, so that parents can get the benefits and, the, and the, those needs met. Uh, we're also asking pediatricians to think about incorporating and integrating parenting programs of various kinds that help parents be the parents that they want to be as part of their primary care. So for example, the Reach Out and Read program is a well-known program where pediatricians give out books to parents and counsel them on reading. It's been shown to make a real difference in children's uh, health and development. And the other part of the mm -hmm. policy is asking the government, both local, state, and federal, to support the programs that families living in poverty need, that we know lift them out of poverty and ameliorate the effects of poverty on their children. Good. Well, Dr. Dreyer, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure speaking with you today. Great. Thank you.